Hello, and welcome to another Orca 3D video tutorial. In this video, we'll be taking a look at Orca's stability criteria analysis, and how to add criteria to the program. The first step in performing a stability criteria analysis is to define the criteria. This is done using Orca's Stability Criteria Manager. To navigate there, click the Orca 3D menu button at the top of the screen, then select Basic Hydrostatics and Stability and then select Manage Stability Criteria. Let's take a closer look at the dialog. Stability Criteria and ORCA are grouped into sets. Your sets will be displayed here. To add a new criteria set, click the Filing Cabinet icon. Name the new set, then name the new set's first criteria. When making a new criteria set, you can copy the first criterion from an existing one. For now, let's make a blank set. Click OK to create the new set. Each criterion is made up of limits. A criterion's limits will appear here in this box. Let's walk through adding a new limit. Go to the first drop-down box in the lower half of the window. Select the limit type. There are many limit types available, such as angles, area under the writing arm curve, and GM. Once the type is selected, select the limit modifier. This defines the nature of the limit's test range. For example, an angle limit could test the angle at max GZ, or the angle between max GZ and down flooding. Some limit types have other modifiers available. In the next box, set the first angle of the range. This can be entered as a value in degrees or radians. It can also be set to an event, such as the angle of max GZ. Some criteria use the lesser or greater of multiple angles. The limit boxes here use a Python interpreter, so Python's min and max functions work directly. If your limit tests over a range of angles, set the second angle in the same manner as the first. The next box sets the inequality of the limit. For our example, the angle between the first and second angles must be at least 20 degrees. We can set that here. Finally, enter the target value and its units in the farthest right boxes. This value can be added as a fixed number, picked from a list of variables, or entered as an equation. For more information on the variables available for use here, consult the ORCA help file included in the ORCA 3D menu. Here you can also find more information on the various options available in each box of the limit definition. Once all of the parameters for the limit are entered, click Add Limit to add the limit to the criterion. It should now appear in the limits list. Great! Now we've got the basics of adding stability criteria to ORCA. But stability criteria are just one part of setting up a stability criteria analysis. We also need to add healing moments to our simulation. For more information on that, watch our healing moments video linked in the description. Here in the stability criteria manager, there are a couple of things to check regarding healing moments. This box here displays the type of healing moment to be applied for this stability criteria. Note that just the type is specified here. The user will choose which particular healing moment to apply when setting up the analysis run. In our first and second angle boxes, there are two equilibrium events, free equilibrium and steady equilibrium. Put simply, free equal is the equilibrium angle with no healing moments, and steady equal is the equilibrium angle with healing moments applied. When you're all done with the stability criteria manager, click OK to save your changes. So that's the basics of adding stability criteria to ORCA. Thanks for watching, and check out the ORCA 3D channel for more how-to videos. Got more questions? There are more answers using the help resources in the description below this video.